All right, this is another hyper-responsive rotoscope style. This is the sequels version. So um, in the sequels, particularly The Force Awakens, the actual effects on the saber were a lot more animated, a lot faster moving um, than what we saw in the original trilogy, um, as well as the prequels. So I've made different versions of these rotoscope styles um, for each of the three trilogies. Um, there's also v uh, multiple variations on all of these. So this specific one is the hyper-responsive version. Um, the base animation is going to be the same if you choose the regular rotoscope. Uh, for the sequels, but with the hyper responsive, um, it actually uh, the blade will actually become uh, static while you're swinging it, um, and it will remain static temporarily when you stop the swing based on the acceleration. So very quick uh, accelerations of swing will actually force that static effect to last longer versus very subtle movements. Um, so if I just move it very quickly, you'll see it'll actually the animation will go away for. A period of time and then it'll slowly come back and it's based on the acceleration of that swing so smaller movements keep the animation but very quick movements you'll see the blade goes static for a period of time um, and there's going to be multiple versions of this so you have a lot of options in the library to choose from um, the base animation will be the same between the hyper responsive um, and the regular rotoscope and then there's also an audio rotoscope which uh, basically it, it reacts a little bit more to the actual hum of the font so you can get more activity in it. Um, but the sequels version is, is probably the quickest of the three um, rotoscope styles. So if looking for a little bit more um, animation and speed, uh, this would be a good option for you.